So in this case, you have Revit, again, centralized storage. In this case, it was a, a larger file, 170 megabyte, which is a respectable Revit file size. This happened to be an airport they were working on. Um, Revit work sharing was enabled. Uh, the other team, there was two teams working on it, one team in Florida, one team in New York. Um, the New York team was local to the data. The, the Florida team was remote to the data. It was 60 seconds, I'm sorry, 60 millisecond latency. Um, those remote folks, 15 to 20 minutes sync with centrals. Okay, that's very challenging because um, you want that information coming in. You want that information to be saved often. I think that's obvious, the benefits there. The, the maybe less obvious benefit is by, by doing a sync with central more often, the other people working in that project get the updates. Now you know if somebody put a beam through the middle of the room that shouldn't have a beam in it. You know that right away, the more often you sync with central. Um, the other challenge that they had is not only was the sync with centrals long, but sometimes they just simply didn't complete. Okay, very, very, very frustrating, especially when you're trying to close out a project, waiting to submit it maybe the next day or within the end of the week or something like that. Um, also, what they noticed is exponential decay. The more users that were added to the Revit project, the worse things got. Okay, and so they would tend to keep their users to five, maybe eight users on a project, no more, because it bec would become unusable. So, uh, side effects. People were saving locally. Okay, I'm just going to save locally. At least it's saved. But the problem is now when I do do that sync with central, at whatever time I pay the piper on that and do that long click, I have more conflicts to resolve. It's just very confusing. Um, I end up with multiple different IT organizations because now you really have to have an IT organization supporting those remote people and in there making sure their desktops are good as well as somebody supporting the central storage. And ultimately, you know, your BIM uh, manager or, or whoever is responsible for the project, it's a pretty big headache for him. There's various different ways I see people resolving this, sometimes with FTP, sometimes via email. And um, it's got to be a pretty rough job for somebody to figure out how to integrate all those changes. So let's look at it with Panzura. First thing you should notice is hopefully it's a lot less complicated drawing. Still centralized storage. We, in this case, we still put it in the Amazon cloud. It can really go anywhere. I'm, uh, a cloud is just storage that I access via an IP address. It could be public or private. This does happen to be public. Um, in this case, there are those little Panzura devices deployed at the remote locations. The benefit here is that everything these end users are doing at those remote locations, they're doing to that local device. And this is a well-built device. It's got a great complement of, of CPU and RAM and SSDs on board. It's very, very poppy, very, very explosive type performance. Um, so you're always reading and writing at that level. What that did is it took those sync with centrals from very long to sometimes infinite to eight seconds.